If you are in fact excited for the next entry in the Avengers franchise, specifically Avengers 5, Marvel Studios is going to sort of give us that movie. Except it's called Thor Love and Thunder. Look, let's be real about this. Captain America Civil War was a better Avengers film than Age of Ultron, so why not just do that again, right? So a recent report by The Hollywood Reporter goes into the future of Marvel Studios and breaks down a lot of things that are happening. And from what they've heard and insider sources are telling them, Thor Love and Thunder is being set up as a Avengers 5 style feel. Where you're going to go into that film and it is a huge ensemble of MCU characters that it almost feels just like you're getting Avengers 5, it's just not called Avengers 5. Now, there's multitudes of reason why they would want to do this. One, they want to make sure everybody goes and sees the next Thor film, as it looks like it's going to be setting up plenty of things down the road. Two, naturally, due to where the last Avengers film left off, this film is going to have to see, and we already know is in fact going to see Thor teaming up with the Guardians of the Galaxy, and multiple new characters have been teased, and also Thor being joined by Mighty Thor, aka Jane Foster, puts another Avenger in there. So like I said in the opening, Captain America Civil War felt like a Avengers film. Just a Avengers film set on Earth. So it looks like Thor Love and Thunder is being positioned as the same exact thing, just hey, it's the Space Avengers in space. And who really knows what else could happen? I mean, we've heard about the fact that they want to try to get Captain Marvel into some other cameo appearances, so it's not too long between her appearing in projects. She's in space, maybe you can involve her or them showing up and helping out the Nova Corp. Like, we really don't know, but it does make sense that this is how they're going to position the upcoming fourth Thor film because that's going to drive revenue and people to want to see a battle. And as far back as right before The Winter Soldier came out, they said, all future films were looking to do multiple team-ups if it calls for it, unless it's specifically a origin film. And you see that everywhere. So it does make a lot of sense that this is the direction you want to go with because the world and the universe just keeps on growing. At some point, these characters have to run into each other. And at one point or another, people are going to start feeling like that's just a normal occurrence. You can't have them interacting or living in the same space and not acknowledge one another. That'd be like Marvel Spider-Man video games, where everything apparently exists in that universe, but nobody ever shows up or is directly mentioned by Spider-Man or anybody. It's like, that feels hollow and empty. You can't have that in a living, breathing world. Like, that's just not how you build it. 